एवरी वन टूडे टॉपिक इज गैस क्रोमेटोग्राफी ऑफन अब्रीविएटेड एज जी सी टूडे वी आर डेल्विंग इन टू अ टेक्निक एसेंशियल फॉर द सेपरेशन आइडेंटिफिकेशन एंड क्वांटिफिकेशन ऑफ कंपोनेंट्स इन अ मिक्सचर ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स गैस क्रोमेटोग्राफी और जी सी इज लाइक अ मोलिक्यूलर डिटेक्टिव इट हेल्प्स अस अनरावल द मिस्टरीज ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स मिक्सचर्स बाय सॉर्टिंग देयर इंडिविजुअल कंपोनेंट्स allowing us to identify and measure each one instrumentation gas chromatography relies on a few key components mobile phase in gc three main types of gases are typically used carrier gas this gas transports the injected sample to the separation column examples include n to he or h fuel gas these gases support the flame in certain detectors like hydrogen zero air this purified air aids in the combustion of the flame in the detector sample injector a heated block where the sample is injected liquid samples are injected using gas tight syringes while gaseous samples use automated injection valves column filled with a stationary phase or coated with a liquid adsorbent to selectively absorb and retain sample components maintained at a constant temperature by a column oven during operation detector identifies and quantifies components individual peaks on the chromatogram relate to concentrations while retention times represent identities Common examples include flame ionization detector FID, thermal conductivity detector TCD and electron capture detector ECD. Data system. A suite of dedicated software controlling operational parameters like injection sequence, temperature and flow rates. Simultaneously, it calculates and displays key parameters. Application Gas chromatography finds extensive application in various fields including research and industrial laboratories. Its versatility allows the analysis of a broad range of samples provided the compounds are thermally stable and sufficiently volatile. It's widely used in quality control, identification and quantification of volatile compounds, separation of gases liquids and solids when dissolved in suitable solvents rapid analysis with minimal sample preparation reducing time and cost working method before starting the instrument it's crucial to verify gas cylinder volume and purity maintain carrier gas purity to prevent hardware degradation pass gases through traps to remove impurities change expired traps promptly to avoid contamination upon starting the instrument initiate the gc first then load the software begin with a conditioning method for at least 30 minutes ensure proper labeling and preparation of samples and standards use clean vials and assist sample equilibrium by shaking or vibrating high viscosity samples during operation adjust sample temperature to enhance solubility and equilibrium maintain proper transfer line temperatures to prevent water condensation heat syringes to match sample vial temperatures to minimize pressure differences after sample analysis condition the system for at least 30 minutes before shutting down Ensure the detector temperature drops below 50 degrees Celsius before turning off the GC. Safety considerations. Consultation of product MSDSs. Before using potentially hazardous products, consult material safety data sheets MSDSs for necessary safety precautions. Visual inspections and pressure leak tests. perform periodic visual inspections and pressure leak tests of the sampling system plumbing fittings and valves to ensure integrity and prevent accidents handling of fragile components handle fragile glass or fused capillary columns with care 
and always wear safety glasses to protect eyes from flying particles while handling, cutting, or installing capillary columns. Cooling of heated areas Before touching heated areas such as the oven, inlet, and detector, allow them to cool down to avoid burns or injuries. Electrical safety To prevent electrical shock, always turn off the instrument and disconnect the power cord before accessing internal components or performing maintenance. Hydrogen gas safety When using hydrogen gas, ensure proper ventilation to prevent the formation of combustible air hydrogen mixtures. Hydrogen gas cylinders should be stored in covered sheds away from direct sunlight and rain and regular checks for leaks should be conducted. Safe handling of gas cylinders Store cylinders away from heat sources, combustibles and live wires. Secure cylinders upright with chains and avoid rolling them on the floor. Use approved regulators, hose connections and tubing. Use flashback arrestors when working with flammable gases to prevent fire propagation. Never use oil or grease on or around oxygen cylinders, valves, fittings or regulators as it may cause fire or explosion. Cylinders with neck threads should have a cap in place over the valve. Remove the cap by hand. Never use a screwdriver, crowbar or other leverage device to remove the cap. It is equally essential to keep a regular check on pipes, hoses and connectors leading to the instrument. These should be free of kinks or damage. Perform regular leak checks on all joints and seals. On completion of analysis, close all cylinder valves and allow the residual gas to bleed before turning off the exhaust vent. Never keep empty and filled gas cylinders in the same area. Do not store cylinders in spaces where they can come in contact with live wires as this can cause electric shocks. Non-compatible gases, such as hydrogen and oxygen, should not be stored in a common storage area as they can form explosive mixtures. Fire extinguishers should be provided in areas storing combustible gases and these should be checked periodically. This is all about today's topic. Thanks for watching Funny EHS Info. And don't forget to subscribe our channel to get immediate notification of our videos. Share our videos to your friends and colleagues to create safety awareness. If you have any questions and requirements, please comment in comment box.